Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the reading for the end of October for the sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Generally, I focus on love readings. You want to make it fit towards work because I know you guys have been having a lot of work issues. Go for it. Um, it is what it is, right? So what does Aquarius need to know for the rest of this month? This reading is for somebody. Not everybody. Somebody in particular. What... What do I need to say? Mmm. Wow. Somebody's lacking strength? That's hard to believe, Aquarius. It really is hard to believe. But, you know, we all have ups and downs, right? Every single person in the whole world does. Goes through moments of weakness, right? So somebody is having a moment of weakness. Oh, needing to take action, like now, right now, somebody needs to take some action, like post haste. Uh oh, somebody may be thinking about moving, uh, leaving something. There's some family feuds going on. Maybe you need to turn away from that feud, that family feud. Maybe you're, you know, not. Maybe you need to find the willpower and the discipline and the strength and the <sighs> self confidence to deal with something that is insecure. Okay, there's some some sort of family dynamic or insecure situation that needs to be dealt with. Yikes. So you guys are, you're probably really, this is causing to you some sort of emotional turmoil as well. You're not mastering your emotions very well. You may be feeling withdrawn, um, going within, feeling like, or, or just shutting down emotionally. You could be having some tears, you know, feeling tearful. Woo! So, jeez, I'm crow. You guys are a mess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ungrounded. Absolutely ungrounded. There's somebody that, that this reading is for that is, is totally um, upset. Okay? I'm upset. Definitely upset. It's like you're, but you're holding it in, right? You're holding in your true feelings. It's like I'm holding it in pretty well. But it's eating you alive eating you something is really bothering you on the inside but boy are you you're holding it in right keeping it a secret hmm. yikes okay so you guys are afraid to take a risk needing to take a risk to make a change and a change is needed like now but afraid afraid to take a risk your intuition is telling you to do something, probably to move, make a move, to move out of the job you're in or out of the home you're in, to move, to move by the looks of things. You are not using your power. You're not finding your strength for damn sure, okay? And it's causing you some emotional turmoil on the inside because you know something isn't stable. You know it's not practical. You're not being realistic. And you know it, but... You're unable to take action, but you're being called to take action. Like, right now, have courage. Have courage for yourself to follow your intuition. Have courage to follow your intuition. Because right now, it's like you, you're not acting with integrity by not following your intuition. Your intuition is giving you some sort of message. And you're ignoring it. You're not ignoring it. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. You feel it. But you, you need to take action on it, okay? So, interesting. I think you're keeping a lot of this to yourself. You're really holding it in. 
um, withdrawing. You're probably feeling a little cold at this time because we're at whatever situation this is, it ain't ha making you happy. All right. So, ooh, yeah, yeah. You know the truth, but you, you're not revealing it. It's like you're blocking, you're blocking something. You're blocking wish fulfillment. You are. You're blocking wish, this is, you are. You are blocking wish fulfillment by staying in denial about a situation or not taking action or just staying stuck not making a move, by not taking that mask off, putting them swords on, up, down, and walking away from whatever it is that you're not, okay? There is an opportunity. This is you. <laughs> this is you. You have the opportunity to receive something, to bring harmony back, To get what you desire, you have that opportunity to get exactly what you desire. There's hope. But you're in an, un, in an unhappy situation in which you've lost your hope. You're in a negative circumstance. You're dealing in with a, with a negative situation that I think that you want to get out of it, but... You don't have faith in yourself. Faith in yourself. You don't. You don't have faith in yourself. You're unable to. <laughs> okay. All right. You're not listening. This is your inner guide. This is your intuition. This is You're not listening. You hear it. You know what you got to do. But you don't believe in yourself. You don't have faith. You're trying to, you know, appease it looks like appease, you know, society, per se. What tradition says you should do. You're not listening to your intuition. Your intuition knows that you are in a, in a situation that you're not happy with. That's all there is to it. But you don't believe enough in yourself. You don't have enough faith in yourself. To listen. To trust yourself. There's an opportunity to get peace of mind. The peace of mind that you deserve. But you're going to have to accept the truth. You're going to have to take the mask off and speak the truth. You have to make a decision. Do you keep pretending that you're, that you're happy? This is pretending. Do you keep pretending that you're happy? The sun is happiness. It's reversed. Do you keep it not? You're not happy. Do you keep pretending that you're happy and that you're good? Or do you take action? Do you find courage to do whatever you got to do to bring back the peace of mind that you deserve? Right now, you don't. You you don't. You're not using your power. You're letting it get the best of you. You have to take the lead. You be the boss. You could be dealing with a boss. This could have to do with a boss. I don't know. This could have to do with a man that is very controlling. But the fact of the matter is, is that you have the opportunity to be the boss here. To take the lead. You're going to have to work a little bit harder. You might have to work harder. You might have to put in more effort. But wherever you're at right now, there's no progress being made and there's no victory and success. <sighs> so what is it? What does this pertain to? These people are afraid to take a risk. But what's the outcome here? It's this, so it looks like you guys this month are, are lacking faith in yourselves. Unable to 
move forward. You know, you guys are, are thinking negatively for sure. Very pessimistic. You could be dealing with a Debbie Downer, somebody that's bringing you down. You could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit younger than you or an individual that's in your circle that is poor, poor, pitiful me. You know, and that's maybe that's why you aren't moving on because this person is using their your pity, 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 trying to get you to pity them. You know, that could be the case. But stand up. Stand up for yourself. Stop hanging around, hanging on to something that is keeping you stuck for no reason. It's time for you to stand up. And surrender. Seven of swords. You're only cheating yourself. You are. You're cheating yourself. Deceiving yourself. You could be dealing with another individual as well that is deceiving you. Okay? Because you got this Debbie Down or this, this person that, you know, is miserable in, in the circle somewhere. You've got a miserable individual in your circle, okay, that doesn't want you to rise, doesn't want you to stand up, doesn't want you to be happy. Because they're not happy. Misery loves company, right? Misery does love company. You definitely have some betrayal here or some sort of deception. Liberation, freedom. Completion. It's time to free yourself from this. It's like the target. See the target on his back? A, you've had a target on your back. It's like you've had a target. And somebody doesn't like you. I don't know who it is. Somebody's jealous. That's my that's my take on this. That's what I felt. Somebody is really, really jealous for some somebody. I don't know who this is for. It's time for you to, to let those fall. Okay, let whoever it is fall. Fall away. Let it fall away. Stand up. Get some new skin. Because there's a better opportunity waiting for you. This is this is once you once you decide to free yourself underneath it, you find an opportunity that is very perfect for you. Perfect, 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 perfect. But you won't find this opportunity. Until you find the strength to deal with whatever this deceptive situation is. The very first card is lack of strength. It's one of your life lessons, obviously. You have to find the strength. To do what's right for you. Above all, doesn't matter what anybody else says. Nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody. There could be a divorce on the horizon or something like that. With this tarot font or faith card reversed. And the ten of coins. It's like there's a change in home front for some of you. Or institution, work, whatever. That needs to happen because there's too much fighting. There's too many feuds. And there's an opportunity, there's a perfect opportunity like may have been presented to you already or it's about to be presented to you. 
and you have to make a decision. Do you do you accept it or not? It's a perfect opportunity. I would accept the new opportunity. It's perfect. It's a mirror. It's perfect. It is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, okay. The perfect partnership is waiting for you to stand up, for you to stand up and get unstuck from whatever it is that's making you so depressed and sad and unhappy on the inside that you've been bearing and not dealing with. Action is needed. With the, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords up there, you need to find the courage to act now, think later, find the strength. Because there's an opportunity for love here. Something that you, I mean, look at it. It's meant to be. But it's not who, you, who with who you're with now, okay? I'm sorry to say that. I know some people aren't, but I don't know who this reading is for. It's with somebody that you're not with now or a situation that you're not with now. I mean, that's what the lovers suggest. All of a sudden, there's this new attraction, and I sense the word new. This new match that is better suited for you, okay? And you and you're you thinking that you're already with like somebody or you're in a situation and you know you have to get out of it to, to unite with this one. It's just the way it is. So that's what this is. There's an opportunity for something really, really beautiful. Soulmate connection. For those of you that this is love. Something that is perfect, put it that way. A divine partnership, okay? But it's not where you're at right now. And at this circumstance in your life, this time in your life, whatever, you need to find the strength to take action, to remove yourself from this, whatever it is that lacks no more stability. You need to find the strength to remove yourself from it so that you can have this partnership that you've dreamt of all I mean it's absolutely perfect but there you have to find the strength you have to have to have to have to have to let's get two of these Aquarius I think that at the end of this month there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection if you haven't met this person or this opportunity whatever it is it could come into your life unexpectedly and it's in this opportunity is not who you expect or what you expect it's completely different okay but it's meant to be okay it's 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 a divine connection all right but it's not what you think it is and that's what the lover's card suggests it says it's not what you think it is it's not. So it's not who you think it is either. It's not. So be prepared for, you know, if this reading is for you, for some sort of connection that is undeniable. Okay? It's undeniable. It's a perfect match. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, but there's lack of faith here, right? you got to find it. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you through this difficult time. There is a difficult time here. You guys, I think a lot of some of you, whoever somebody is watching this and they're afraid of what everybody's going to say. True friends will support your decision. They will. And if they don't, they're not your true friends and it's better off to deal with that as well, honestly. Let's get one of these for Aquarius. You may be, you know, changing homes, moving out of your home, coming up with a plan to divorce and move out of your home. Divorce, move. This one fell out. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. You do, don't you? And I think that's probably where you're at right now. I think some of you are stuck in a situation because of how deeply you love. And this person uses that against you. This is pity. And they do. They do. They use that against you because they know that that's who you are. 
That's the way it goes, right? And that's why you need to find the strength to love yourself enough. You come first. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I'll talk to you next time.